I knew Natalie Wood long before she knew me. Let me explain. One day at Van Nuys High School in Los Angeles, me and some other guys, athletes, were in charge of admitting students into assembly. Now, I was kind of a punk in high school and completely unimpressed with celebrities and the movie business. But this one girl was late and she runs up to me and I won't let her in the auditorium. She begs, but I won't budge, and then she storms off. So my friend says, don't you know who that is? And I said, no, I had no idea. It was Natalie Wood, the movie star. Our lives would cross paths again many years later. Natalie Wood worked her way through the ranks in Hollywood, first as a child star. These are Austin, and these are Chris, Sam, Sam, Mom. Wow, that's splendid! Then as a teen celebrity. What's happening? What's that? What? Oh, that's a new disease. Man, a friend of yours? Finally, she had huge success with ingenue roles. The movies like Splendor in the Grass and the musical West Side Story. She thinks she's in love, she thinks she's in fame. But Natalie later told me that she desperately wanted to be taken seriously as an actor. She wanted to pursue character roles instead of relying on her star image to carry her in her picture. And that's what brought us together the second time. I had become an actor myself, and by the early 60s, I had a few successes on Broadway, but I was pretty much an unknown. When Natalie decided to make a dramatic stretch in the films, this property is condemned and inside Daisy Clover. Wish me luck! I'm gonna make a noise in the world! She chose me, the unknown, to be her leading man. Since I was from the theater where character and craft are important, we clicked while shooting Daisy Clover. Daisy Clover? Uh, that's your real name? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. It's the one thing about me they haven't changed. The one thing about me they have. Your real name isn't Wade Lewis. No. No, it isn't. It's Lewis Wade. I like to improvise. Natalie didn't have much experience with that, but instead of behaving like some big movie star saying, I can't do that, or won't do that, Natalie went along with it. We were shooting the scene when our studio boss tells us he doesn't want us to get married. God knows, your private life is no concern of mine, but Daisy's career is... Good business. Yes, now look here, if you hurt her, you hurt her work, and I won't allow that. On one take, during one of those totally improvised moments, I suddenly picked up Natalie and just dove right into the pool. My way of saying to the studio boss, we're gonna do what we want. It wasn't in the script, and I didn't know that Natalie was afraid of water. But she was courageous, and she hung in there with me. I had a wonderful time working with Natalie. Not only because of her innate talent, but she also loved to laugh and joke around on the set. And we teased each other a lot. Natalie had this mannerism when she acted where she would swish her head to one side and give a puzzled look. She adopted this as part of her screen trademark, I guess. So I would do it back to her, exaggerated. And there we'd be, two cocked heads looking at each other. It's good. I think it's wonderful when actors working together can find areas of connection, when they can touch the soul of that other person. And I think that happened for Natalie and me. I'll always be thankful to Natalie for the things that she taught me. I could talk with her about the nonsense and the distortion of what it is to be a movie star. She said, no matter how silly it may seem, fans do have this feeling about you that you have to respect. But never let it overwhelm you. So when we would go out in public, Natalie and I would be mobbed, an aspect of the business I had little patience for. And Natalie would tell me to smile, keep moving, and don't ever stop. I adored Natalie Wood. She was incredibly generous, which not many people in our industry are. She was extremely driven and in charge when it came to her career. Yet Natalie had a vulnerability about her. I guess a part of her that longed to be taken care of. She didn't have a husband or a family when I first worked with her, and I think it was hard for her to be alone. Over the years, we enjoyed a wonderful friendship. 
I was best man at her second wedding. A couple of years later, Natalie even made a cameo appearance in the movie The Candidate as a favor to me. We eventually lost touch, but our admiration for each other never really ended. I only wish our paths could have crossed again. Oh, and at one point, I told her the story about how I had picked on her that day in high school. She got a big kick out of that. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Robert Redford.